it's Andrew Huang. Today I want to show you three ways I've come up with to get instant inspiration for your music using candy. Whether you're just looking for a fun starting point or if you've got a song in the works and you're not sure where to take it next, I guarantee you can do this and get some really great and unexpected ideas. This video is sponsored by Sweet Tarts Mini Chewies, so a huge thanks to them for supporting my weird music experiments. You can visit them at sweetheartscandy.ca. Without further ado, let me show you these three music hacks, or as I like to call them, music snacks. Please don't call them that. The Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy Candies come in five different colors, which is very handy because there's a really nice sounding scale called the Major Pentatonic Scale that only has five notes. Maybe you can see where I'm going with this already. Just to keep things easy, I'm gonna choose C Major Pentatonic, which has these notes. And I've assigned each one to one of the Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy colors. So now the fun part, grab some candies, put them in a row, and follow your tart. Just line these up. So we've got a string of notes here. Let's see what they sound like. So we've got the order of the notes. I'm just gonna play around with this now and see if it inspires anything rhythmically. And I played all the notes in the same octave, but we could also experiment with moving some of them to different registers. All right, I've got something I kind of like. Check this out. That's got a nice melodic arc to it. I was actually kind of hoping there would be some notes in there that I didn't like because then I could eat them. I know hearing just a piano and a metronome doesn't sound like much, so let's produce a quick track with this melody and hear it at its full potential. So starting with a melody is great, but you could also start with a chord progression. So taking our same five colors, I'm gonna assign these to the most common chords used in pop songwriting. And we'll just stay in C major. So we've got C major, D minor, F major, G major, and A minor. And I'm gonna randomly draw four candies. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay. One, two, three, four. And... We got red, green, red, red. What if it was like reggae-ish? Maybe we should draw another four and expand on this progression? Okay, uh, yellow, orange, yellow, purple. Coming from our previous thing. This is the start of a pretty nice song. So there are a couple examples of the chord candy method. Just shake up your chord progression game. This is actually really fun. I want to do it more often. But I got one more thing I want to show you. This one's a little more involved. On to snack number three. So here we're gonna generate an interesting electronic loop. I've drawn some lines to divide this page up into 16 different sections, and we're just gonna grab a bunch of Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy candy and scatter it onto the page. To make this a little easier to decipher, I'm gonna line up all the ones that landed in the same sections. And now we have a little map for our loop. Using the same color coding as before, the candy will tell me which notes to use, and each of these sections will represent each of our consecutive beats. So I've entered these exact notes and beats into my music software, and here Here's what they sound like. And again, this material will be more interesting if we produce it with more exciting sounds. Thanks for watching and thanks again to Sweet Tarts for sponsoring. You can visit them at sweettartscandy.ca. I'll see you next time.